Today, we're going to discuss the relatively new longevity supplement named Glynac. Now, if Glynac has gone under your radar till now, then I'm just going to begin by telling you straight. If you're in your 40s or older and are truly serious about maximizing your health span, then you absolutely must take this supplement. And to convince you of that, I'm going to present you with both the science behind Glynac and the findings of some recent human studies, all of which provide some pretty convincing evidence to back up the claims we made about this remarkable supplement. Not only that, we'll be discussing optimal Glynac dosages and other vital information that hasn't yet been covered elsewhere. So what exactly is Glynac? Well, Glynac is simply a combination of the two popular supplements, glycine and NAC, NAC being short for N-acetylcysteine. The purpose of combining them together into a single supplement is in order to optimally raise levels of the body's own critical master antioxidant, glutathione. This is especially important in older adults because glutathione needs increase considerably as we age. And this increased need for glutathione is compounded by the fact that natural levels simultaneously go into decline, which unless addressed, presents us with a longevity crushing double whammy. Now I'll explain shortly why it's best to take glycine and NAC together and in a one-to-one -one ratio. But first, we need to talk a little more about glutathione and why maintaining optimal levels is so important to our health as we age. Our body is always trying to maintain homeostasis and part of that involves keeping our oxidants and our antioxidants in balance. Both are necessary for life, however it's maintaining an optimal balance between the two that's most important and certainly one of the many keys to maximizing both our lifespan and our health span. And that's where glutathione steps in. Glutathione is the most powerful naturally occurring antioxidant in human cells and it's commonly referred to as the body's master antioxidant, serving to regulate the critical balance of oxidants to antioxidants. In short, glutathione is a critical regulator of both oxidative stress and immune function. Now we know that elevated oxidative stress and mitochondrial dysfunction are two key contributors to aging. And in older adults, glutathione deficiency plays a major role in promoting these unhealthy states. However, we can quickly and easily rectify this deficiency by supplying the body with the raw materials that it needs to manufacture glutathione, the most important of which are glycine and NAC. Of course, that does beg the question, why not just supplement with glutathione itself? Well, unfortunately, that doesn't work. Most of the glutathione ingested in supplement form simply gets destroyed in the gut before it can even reach the bloodstream. Now, there are liposomal glutathione products available, which do partially get around this problem. However, I recommend that you avoid those products like the plague, and here's why. Each tissue in our body maintains a different amount of glutathione based on its metabolic demands. And these demands are both dynamic and variable, which is why our cells regulate their own glutathione synthesis rates. However, taking liposomal glutathione may deliver more glutathione to cells than is actually required. This is because although the liposomal product has avoided much of the degradation that takes place in the gut, it's then free to enter the bloodstream where it then delivers glutathione directly to the cell, bypassing any regulation. Unfortunately, this can result in health damaging imbalances within the cell. Now this doesn't happen when we take glycine and NAC together, since we're essentially just providing the building blocks required to produce our own endogenous glutathione, which then gets synthesized in the appropriate amounts as and when required. Interestingly, in animal studies, it was found that excess administration of NAC alone or glutathione alone resulted in accelerated aging. Just the opposite of what is achieved with the ingestion of glycine and NAC in combination and in balance. This reinforces the importance of providing the body with a balanced ratio of the raw materials required irrespective of the particular pathway in question. In this section of the presentation, I'm going to briefly go over the results of three recent Glynac studies, comprising one mouse study and two human studies. Firstly, the mouse study. 
This study was first published in March last year, and it found that following 12 weeks of daily Glynac supplementation in old mice, levels of glutathione were found to have risen to nearly match those found in young healthy mice. Glynac supplementation also resulted in significant improvements in several hallmarks of ageing. In fact, an average lifespan extension of 24% compared to the untreated control mice was recorded which in itself is quite astonishing. But it's human study data that we're really after. And as we'll see, that data does not disappoint. I'm going to be making reference to two recent human Glynac studies. The first is a 36-week pilot clinical trial from 2021 involving eight older adults and eight young adults. All the participants underwent an initial pre-supplementation study, following which all eight young adults were released from the study since their participation was actually only required in order to harvest their baseline data. The eight older adults were studied again following 24 weeks of Glynac supplementation and again following a further 12 weeks with no Glynac supplementation. The study found that 24 weeks of Glynac supplementation in the older adults corrected glutathione deficiency and the mitochondrial dysfunction, reduced inflammation and oxidative stress, improved insulin resistance and resulted in significant improvements in physical performance. However, following the final 12 weeks with no Glynac supplementation, those improvements pretty much fully reverted to the pre-Glynac states. The second study we're going to look at is a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled clinical trial first published in August last year. In total, 24 older adults aged between 61 to 80 and 12 young adults were studied. Now, the older adults were randomized to receive either Glynac or a placebo for 16 weeks, while all the young adults received Glynac, but only for the first two weeks. Now, the Glynac dosage used for this study was very high, using 100 mg per kilo per day of both glycine and NAC. However, even at such elevated dosages, Glynac was found to be safe and free of negative side effects. Though I have to say that personally, I wouldn't be comfortable using such high dosages for very long-term or permanent use, not to mention the hassle of consuming so many capsules. Participants were studied before supplementation, after two weeks, and after 16 weeks, with multiple markers of aging and health measured. These included glutathione concentrations, insulin resistance, inflammation, oxidative stress, muscle strength, and waist circumference, to name only a few. At baseline, compared to the young adults, the older adults all recorded a glutathione deficiency, elevated oxidative stress, mitochondrial dysfunction, systemic inflammation, impaired physical function, and increased systolic blood pressure. Amazingly, after 16 weeks, all defects were either significantly improved or fully corrected within the Glynac supplementation group. Conversely, no changes were experienced by the placebo group. Interestingly, it took only two weeks for Glynac supplementation to correct both glutathione synthesis and concentrations in the older adults, which I find to be quite remarkable, especially considering that it resulted in immediate improvements in mitochondrial dysfunction and insulin resistance. Now, unlike the older adults, the young adults experienced no statistically significant changes in glutathione levels after two weeks of daily Glynac supplementation, which is not unexpected since no deficiency previously existed. So in summary, Glynac provides the precursor amino acids glycine and cysteine necessary for glutathione synthesis. Glycine, cysteine and glutathione make independent and important contributions towards cellular health and organ function. The combination represents a power of three to indicate that benefits occur due to the combined effects of all three components. It's not just glutathione alone that's responsible. Where dosages are concerned, let me first state that there should be no need for healthy adults under the age of 40 to supplement with Glynac, since glutathione levels don't tend to go into any noticeable decline before our early 40s. But certainly, by the time we reach 45, we're most definitely going to benefit from supplementing with Glynac. Now, although the optimal human Glynac dosage still needs further research, we can safely self-experiment within a pretty wide dosage range. Firstly, your Glynac product should contain a one-to-one -one dosage split of glycine to NAC, 
And in my opinion, based on current evidence, a minimum dosage of 1.2 grams per day, that's 600 milligrams glycine and 600 milligrams NAC, would be a good place to start at age 45. A low dosage would be considered 1.2 to 2.4 grams daily. A medium dosage, 3.6 to 4.8 grams daily. And a high dosage would be 6 to 7.2 grams daily. Now it's your age that will likely have the most influence on your glyonate requirements. For reference, I'm 63 and currently take 2.4 grams per day, split 1.2 grams AM and 1.2 grams PM. Now I do plan to increase my dosage to 3.6 grams daily when I turn 65 and to 4.8 grams daily when I turn 70. Now I'm not telling you that I know these dosages to be optimal. As I already said, we just don't have enough data to assume that yet. However, what we can be sure of is that the dosages outlined here should be completely safe in the long term and will provide a level of benefit relative to the level of deficiency being treated. Remember that if starting to supplement the Glynac, what we're essentially taking part in is in effect an indefinite term study. So in my opinion, it makes sense to start low and increase over time because establishing the optimal dosage for each individual will require a combination of self-experimentation together with further study data and user feedback. Glynac side effects are extremely rare in healthy individuals. However, it should be noted that NAC lowers blood pressure. So if you're currently being prescribed medication for blood clotting or high blood pressure, then check with your doctor before using Glynac. And of course, the same applies if you're pregnant or receiving treatment for a medical condition. Glynac is available from relatively few brands. And if, like myself, you insist on pure, filler-free capsules wherever possible, then your choice is even more limited. And that's why I've chosen to use the pure, filler-free Glynac capsules from Do Not Age. These contain the ideal one-to-one -one ratio of glycine to NAC, and the product is third-party lab-tested for purity. Now, Do Not Age have very kindly provided viewers of this presentation with an exclusive 10% discount code, and I'm told that this code will work with any product in their range, including subscriptions. Glynac really does appear to be a game-changer for older adults, so if you're not already supplementing with it, then what are you waiting for? Because you really are missing out on one of the few top-level life extension tools currently available. Many thanks for watching, and if you haven't already done so, then click that subscribe button now to keep up with all that's new in health and longevity. And lastly, as always, take care, be healthy, and see you again soon.